The MyoSure system enables simple and efficient hysteroscopic removal of tissue. To achieve and maintain uterine distension and optimal visualization while rapidly cutting and removing tissue, it is important to understand the unique fluid characteristics of the MyoSure procedure. Inflow of normal saline is achieved by a fluid pump that provides adjustable fluid pressure. It is important to properly set the fluid pump pressure and inflow rates based on the recommendations in the MyoSure setup guide. The MyoSure outflow channel provides continuous flow during the diagnostic procedure and is removed once pathology is confirmed. The MyoSure device now becomes the outflow channel. Active suction is required to remove tissue through the MyoSure device. When the MyoSure foot pedal is activated, the cutting window is opened and suction pulls fluid and tissue from the uterine cavity through the MyoSure device and into the tissue trap. To maintain distension while suction is activated, infusion of fluid into the uterus must be at a fluid flow rate and pressure to establish a balance between the two. This may necessitate periodic adjustments of increased pump pressure to maintain the desired uterine distension. Each fluid pump performs differently and therefore an adjustable suction source should be used during the MyoSure procedure to provide vacuum pressure adjustments based on the inflow performance of the fluid pump used. It is important to set the vacuum pressure based on the recommendations in the MyoSure setup guide. The vacuum pressure significantly affects uterine distension and cutting efficiency. If the vacuum is set too high, distension will deteriorate quickly when MyoSure is activated. If set too low, obscuring tissue may not be evacuated at the desired rate, and venous absorption of fluid may become an issue. It is important that the physician and staff monitor fluid deficit volume throughout the procedure. In accordance with the ACOG guidelines, the procedure must be stopped if this value exceeds 2500 cc's. Creating a balance of fluid inflow and suction is the most important concept to understand for the MyoSure procedure. If visualization and cutting performance is compromised, periodic adjustment of fluid pressure and suction should be performed. Always orient the MyoSure cutting window against tissue before the foot pedal is activated. This will minimize the evacuation of fluid during cutting activation. If bleeding occurs, extend the MyoSure device past the scope and wait a few seconds for the fluid to circulate through the closed MyoSure window. The closed window still has a small area around the blade for outflow. At this point, you may want to consider making one of the following adjustments. One, a tapenade effect may be achieved by increasing the fluid pressure. Two, reducing suction will lower the rate at which fluid is evacuated and intrauterine pressure decreases. Always monitor fluid deficit throughout the procedure in accordance to the ACOG guidelines. Thank you for your attention.